Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be looking at financial processes, uh, and in particular, debt and equity financing, and matching the terms and sources of finance to business purposes. So firstly, the, the, the real question here is, debt or equity? What should the business use to finance its operations? That's not a very easy question to answer, um, because essentially, a business needs to really carefully consider um, whether to use debt or equity, and then how much of each is then going to be needed. Um, so I'm going to look at some pros and cons of both debt and equity, um, and then look at um, how they can then match or what, what criteria they use to then match um, what they need to um, what they want. So some advantages of debt. Well, it's readily available. Okay, so uh, banks have the money to give away. They're ready to give it away uh, with, obviously, conditions. Um, however, you don't need to wait for people to um, give you money. The banks will do it for you. They're ready there. Um, and any, pay, uh, any interest payments you make um, could result in some tax deductions for the business as well. However, the disadvantages are the business needs to provide security, so there's got to be some sort of security there in case they default on that debt. And um, normally it will be, you know, the factory or the warehouse or the the the, um, the property they have. Um, they need to make regular payments. Um, you know, every fortnight, every month, uh, every week, maybe um, with interest on there as well. So it's not free. It's not cheap. Um, so this is where if they do uh, use debt. Um, they need to make sure that they've got um, a very, very strong cash flow um, and very good planning because then they can work out um, how much needs to go out at a certain time. Um, for equity, uh, some of the pros are, well, you don't need to pay interest on it because it's not the bank's money um, and you don't need to repay it. So not only do you not need to repay it, you don't need to pay interest at all. So that, that, that's a pos a benefit there. Um, and you can retain um, the control over its use as well. Um, so once you've collected the money, you can use it for whatever you want, as opposed to um, a loan from the bank that may be tied to buying a certain property, for example. Um, some disadvantages, however, is you might get some lower returns, and that might be due to the fact that you're not going to get as much money, maybe, um, as opposed to a loan from the bank. So in terms of matching the terms and sources of finance to the business purpose, so Flexibility of the source of the funding is, a, is another important consideration. Um, businesses often uh, require sources of funds to be uh, variable, so that if, um, if firms have excess funds, um, borrowings can be paid off uh, more quickly, um, increased or renewed as conditions change. So um, if they're, for example, if they're, if they're getting a loan from a bank, um, if it's a fixed loan, for example, so fixed for five years and they've got to pay a certain amount of money um, every fortnight for three years, and but it, it's locked in, that, ex that same amount is locked in every fortnight, um, that might be good because the business is able to figure out exactly how much they're paying. On the flip side, um, if it's a variable loan, um, it might actually be more beneficial because if it's a you know a great month for the business and they make more money than they than they thought they would have, they can put that extra towards that loan. Uh, they can pay it off quicker, meaning that um, meaning that they then pay off uh, less in the long run. Um, however, this can only happen with a variable loan, very much similar to to a home loan, not as opposed, as opposed to just a business loan. A home loan works in the same way. Um, so when when they try to work out, okay, where's this money coming from? and link it to what they want it for, um, they need to keep in mind. So, how much control do they want to have? Okay. Um, how available is the finance? Uh, how flexible is it? And we spoke about in terms of the uh, the flexibility in terms of um, being able to change um, around a bit. Um, the costs involved, so the, uh, the interest payments, uh, any fees associated with it. Um, the terms of it, so how long is it going to go for? Five years, 10 years, 30 years. Um, the cost of each source of finance as well. Um, and finally, the structure of the business. So how is a business set up? Uh, is it a public company? If it's a public company, then possibly uh, shareholder equity might be a better uh, option than, um, than, than debt financing. However, debt financing might be a good option for them as well because 
they're much more uh, well known, they're much more uh, stable, they might be more likely to get a loan as opposed to a sole trader. Um, so I hope that this brief video on debt and equity financing and matching the terms and sources of finance to the business purposes has been useful. Uh, the next video starts looking at monitoring and controlling as a financial process, um, but specifically looking at cash flow statements. Thank you.